and today here we are with the latest Asus store this is the locker store for generation 2 I will leave some links right over here for other units that we have reviewed and software and so on and so forth and some links down below as well talking about software if you are looking for budget keys for your Windows 10 or Windows 11 home edition or pro edition don't forget to check out key fans where we can find budget keys and official OEM keys and with the coupon code we can get up to 50% discount so Windows 10 Pro will be at 7 US dollars and Windows 11 Pro at 13 US dollars more or less so check out the link down below just in case you are looking for that now regarding topics I will leave something right over here on screen being the most boring part the software because it has so many things that is just awesome now in terms of awesomeness it has four of them that are just mind-blowing first you are looking at this screen with the HDMI output which is great and I will talk about that in just a few moments it will take up to four NVMe SSDs which is just awesome I use the Sabrens ones that I've got right over here Rocket 4 Plus which is the fastest one on the market today above 7000 megabytes per second which is more than we will achieve it also can support RAM upgrades and it has dozens and dozens of applications that we can install and we can turn this into something really awesome more than what it already is this unit is the 6704 it has four bays there is a model with two bays so you can check the link down below and decide if your needs are for four bays or two base it comes with four gigabytes of ram but can be upgraded i will as i will share with you in just a few moments it comes with the intel quad core celeron n5150 if we compare with other mini computers that we have tested it's it's ranking on sixth which is not bad at all as you can see by the table that we have a really good performance if you want home assistant and virtual machines and plex server and a lot more in terms of connectivity we will find two 2.5 gigabyte ethernet connections at the back which if we use link aggregation as we have done here in the past links right over here we will be able to achieve 5000 megabits or 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes to our drives and having the ssd cache which i will share with you right now actually i can share right now it has two usb 3.2 connections one at the back and one at the front and for example if we do a backup one touch backup which is to connect our USB drive right over here have in mind that I'm using a fast USB drive what I achieved was roughly between 800 megabytes per second 900 reads and on writes in terms of the backup so this is the potential that we can see I can arrive home with a large amount of files and in no time I'll place it right over here with one click I can copy from the drive to the NAS from the NAS to the drive or I can synchronize what I've got on that folder that I did update on my working day so just a awesome experience it also has a HDMI 2.0 output which will be able to support bigger displays but to fit here on the frame I think this one is great I will leave a link down below for the Remax it 8 inches but as you can see I've got some apps here we can install more of course there are dozens and dozens of apps and there is a mixture right over here we have seen other units from Asus store that has this feature some of them with players that will open as an app uh, in the past we have seen plagues and things like that at this moment we've got here a hybrid say that some of them you will open for example Netflix and you will see that it will target you to a browser so we will have a mixture of browser and then some of them like VirtualBox will open and it will open the actual app so we can manage all our virtual machines and so on and so forth so this is what we can expect some of them will work as a browser some of them will work as a app nonetheless I would say that this is great if we want to use this as a dual purpose I can put it on my living room for example on a nice spot connect to the TV and then I can appreciate pictures I can appreciate movies I can use instead of a mouse I can use also a remote which is something that we have tested with Asus store units as well so a great addition right over here on top of a great machine even you know that kind of bonus which is awesome in my opinion of course now that we know what we have right over here for those that never prepared one of these 
it's really easy anyone will be able to do it now i did start by the optional upgrades i did open it up and i did play scene four NVMe SSDs from Sabrent, which are really awesome. One of the things that I did love right over here is that I don't need any screws to put in the SSDs. That is a plastic bracket that I just need to push in and that is it. Easy as this. So just a great experience. I also upgraded with 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's really easy. It's on this side right over here. We just need to push a plastic piece and bam, put in our DDR4 RAM. Now, there is one note right over here, which is the CPU uh, supposedly only supports up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, according to the Intel website, so they know what they do. Also, Acer Store says on the specifications that it supports up to two 8 sticks, which is a maximum of 16. But I do have a 16 stick right over here from Sabrent, Rocket DDR4 memory model, and it did support the 16. So at this moment, we are with 20 gigabytes of RAM, actually 19 point something usable, which is great. But I would suggest to use the official maximum capacity, which is two sticks. Now, I did put one stick. The second stick, it's a little bit hidden, so it will re require from us to open up the uh, machine to put it in. Now, I didn't do that, although it's easy, and Asus Store has a full guide on video, so in case you purchase one of these, you will be able just to follow up that, and in no time you will have your second DDR4 stick right over there, so we can upgrade it to the maximum. Now, that being said, uh, we still need to put in the main drives. I did use Toshiba N300, and here I will have to be accredited. Now, for the SSDs, we don't need screws, but for the main hard drives, we still need screws. That is the only thing that I would probably change. Now, it's really easy. We just need to put in the screws, but it's easy. And once we have the four drives, or if we want to start with one, and then after a few time, I can purchase another one, and then another one, and then another one, we can do that. So that's great. We can grow as we need. I don't need to purchase the four. Right. Though with the four, I can have at this moment, for example, rate five. So if one dies, I still have three. With just one, I will have to be cautious that I will not have any redundancy. After having that installed, which takes more time explaining than doing, we will have to initialize the units. Now, we will find this screen right over here. And this LCD screen will give us a lot of information which we can use to start the machine, initialize the machine, for example, or give us another kind of information, which is what I can do at this moment. But I do prefer to initialize through the browser of my computer where I can select all the options in a different or a more conventional manner. And uh, we have at least two options. One is fully automatic and the other one is more customized, which is the one that I prefer where I will select um, the way that I want. And in no time, we will have the machine working and we can take full advantage of it. And at the beginning, what I can say is that it has so many options that it will be overwhelming but once we focus okay today i'm going to use this app and tomorrow that and besides having our files backed up and so on and so forth we will grow and we will learn and so on now talking about the software it's really rich from all the nash that we have seen on the market ac store is probably one of the most richest one in terms of the software itself i will start by talking of my favorite which is the apps there is a app central where we can find dozens and dozens of apps i didn't count but you can go to asus store website and you'll find all the info right over there including the apps of each model available at that time we will find for example plex virtualbox spotify amazon prime disney plus docker mb server a lot of apps some of them we know some of them we don't but with time we will be able to take full advantage of this we have seen in the past for example how to create a php server here we have that chance so that we can synchronize several multimedia machines on our own and all of them are synchronized with the database that we can create right over here so this is just one really small option of all the things that we can do Another favorite thing is the backups. This is one of the main reasons that I got my first NASH, wow, a long time ago. Backups, backups, and we will find here all the tools that we will 
require. We can do really simple backups from folder to folder, for example, and we can do backups, as I mentioned, from the one-click button where I can just arrive from my work with my uh, external SSD, plug it here, here and then click a button and I can synchronize everything to the NAS. I can copy to the NAS, I can copy from the NAS to the disk or synchronize, which is the way that I use most of the times. Besides that, I can also create schedule backups from uh, the NAS to an external unit connected via USB here at the back and we can also make backups uh, remotely so I can back up this unit to another unit outside of my home. Let's say that I put another unit on my parents house for example and then they will both synchronize through the web and if anything happens to this location right over here I will have a full backup on the other location. This is just awesome. In terms of settings so that you have an idea you'll find um, general settings, the network settings, region, hardware where we can control the LEDs, we can control the energy, the hours that it will turn on, off, of course this is something optional and we also have the way that the fan works, it's really quiet the fan, it has a automatic management but we can also put it on slow, on fast and off. on fast we will hear a little bit but nothing special, it has a really great airflow and here it will um, drag the air to cool both the hard drives and also the SSDs on the top, which is really a great design from Asus Star. Now we will also find what we want from the LCD panel. We can customize a few things. We have notifications through SMS, emails, push notifications. By the way, in terms of mobile apps, I do believe that Asus Star is the brand that has more apps across the panel. I think it's about eight apps that we have tried in the past as well. I will leave links right over here so that you can have an idea. But we have a lot. Apps for photos, apps for backups, apps for multimedia videos and so on so forth a lot. Then we will have options for the firewall, the way that it works, updates which I have one pending and we also have a lot more. Now there are simple things that we can use to monitor like the activity monitor that will give me quick access to the CPU, RAM, the network and the drives and the drive management it's also another area that captures my attention because I can have in real time in a really fast and simple way the visual of my volumes of my drives the way that they are implemented the way that we choose to have them deployed so in this moment for example i've got rate 5 right over here on this volume so that means that i can lose a drive and i just remove it put in a new one and the uh, volume will rebuild itself automatically. At the same time I've got four SSDs as we saw but two of them are allocated to the drives which means that it is the SSD cache activated so when I throw data at the NAND it will not write immediately on the mechanical hard drives which are slower it will write to the SSD and then when I'm not doing anything the SSDs will pass the information to the hard drives which makes everything faster and just awesome. But I also have two of them uh, being used as storage. So I've got a mixture right over here and each one of us will have this freedom to use the SSDs as storage, the SSDs as cache, which is the way that I do prefer, which will speed things up. And of course, each app that we will install will give us a lot of potential, a lot of complexity, but a lot of tools that we can in the future enrich and enrich. And this is the beauty of any Nash with features such as this one and it's something that I really really enjoy. At the same time we can start using it as a simple storage but I can start okay today I'm going to install this app and I'm going to start learn tomorrow I will install my own domain right over here so I can start building a website yes this is one of the things that we can do right over here mail servers and things like that so it's endless possibilities to use this machine and learn and well it's just a lot of fun and you know how it is if you follow the channel if you don't don't forget to check out the subscribe button right over there for more news and if you have any questions any doubts leave them down below i'll answer as best and as fast as i can if the video was helpful in some way don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george this is the asus star locker star for generation two and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.